Welcome back my math party people. Anderson here, your math coach. Let's go and get into it now. In the previous video, in case you didn't watch it, we were going over algebraic expressions with two, three steps maybe. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking at three, four plus steps here. So multi-step algebraic expressions. And remember, if you know your order of operations, great. If you know how to plug a number in when they tell you what number it is, great. After that, it's not complicated. It's not complicated at all because you've done all of the things you need to do to prepare for this and now we're just putting it together. So let's go ahead and get into it in this video. I'm gonna go through plenty of examples, follow along, pause the video, try some things out, and let's keep getting smarter. So here we go, we have eight times x over four, then plus y. And we're told, hey, x over here, that's gonna be negative four. And that y right there, that's gonna be negative five. So all we have to do is plug the right numbers in the right places. Once you make sure you do that, then it's order of operations and you're done. So here we go. We have eight multiplied by over here and that's gonna be negative four over four plus and then y will be negative five. So once you plug it in the right way, my party people, your only concern is now order of operations the right way and you're done. So here we go. We have ourselves negative four over four. So what's that gonna be? Well, a negative four divided by four is a negative one. So we have eight multiplied by negative one, and then we're adding a negative five. Well, adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting. So I'll just go ahead and write minus five, no problem. So now eight times negative one, that's gonna give us negative eight. Negative eight minus five, that's gonna give us negative 13. And there we have it. The answer here will be C. So again, we're gonna go through increasingly complicated problems here in my math party people. I'm gonna take you through two examples of this right here. This would be one, two, three steps. Then I'll go ahead and take you through examples with four steps and then more steps than that, all right? So three, four, and five steps are what we got here. Let's go and do another three-stepper. So over here, again, my math party people, take a look what you got. You got Y right there, Y is five. You got yourself X over here, X is negative 10. So just go ahead and plug things in the right way. That's really your only concern. Plug things in the right way, give yourself the best shot. So y is five, then we're adding one, and then we're adding negative 10. And so eventually you'll be able to do this with mental math. Eventually you'll probably be able to look at this and be like, okay, I can do it all in my head. Great, and I'll show you how to do it in your head as well, my math party people. So from here, five plus six, that's gonna be, or five plus one is six, and then plus a negative 10 is minus 10. Six minus 10 is negative four, negative four divided by four is negative one, and that is A. But let me show you how to do this with a little bit of mental math, my party people. Watch this. We got Y plus one plus X. Y is five, so five plus one is six, plus negative 10. Six plus negative 10 is negative four, negative four divided by four, negative one. You can do it in your head. You absolutely can. If I wanna do something like this in my head, notice the order of operations. Subtract five from N, then take away N from whatever that is, and then multiply by M. If you wanted to see it in an even more complicated fashion, a little more of an advanced fashion, you might notice that you have N minus N, and then plus five. The N's cancel, and you just end up having plus five here. Five times M, that should be 45 as the answer. So again, with mental math, you should be able to see some of these things eventually. But I know the answer is going to be 45 by just looking at it before I even plug numbers in. Now, plugging numbers in, n minus 5, negative 2. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Then, negative 2 minus negative 7, so that's negative 2 plus 7, that's 5. Then times m, 5 times 9, 45. It seems a little more complicated if you don't simplify first. But again, what I did here was I plugged them in and I tried using algebra beforehand. But let's go ahead and go through another set of examples where it gets a little more complicated, my party people. We got this. Let's take a look at something like this. Again, at the end of the day, it's really all about making sure you're plugging in and going at it. So five plus P is what we're gonna be dealing with first because that's in a parentheses. Five plus P, P being two, that's gonna end up being seven right here. And notice how we have the M times seven. What's M? M is negative seven. So negative seven times seven is going to be negative 49. So we can turn this into negative two minus 49 minus nine right away. If you can plug in and keep some numbers in your head, you can give yourself an easier time. And so negative two 
minus 49 is negative 51. Negative 51 minus 9 is negative 60. And there's your answer right there. So again, at the end of the day, my math party people, notice what patterns you can see. Notice what order you're working in. Get the job done and have a good time. So here, I notice that this is going to be taken care of first. So x is 9. So we have 9 squared plus z, which is negative 7. So that's basically 9 squared minus 7. Because again, adding a negative 7 is the same thing as subtracting 7. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ASVAB party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. So nine squared is 81, 81 minus seven. That's gonna be what? 74. Sweet. So we have 74 there. So right here, that's gonna be 74. And then we have Y, which is over here, 10 minus X, which is nine minus all of that. So 10 minus nine is one, one minus 74 is negative 73 because 74 minus one is 73, but it'll be negative because you're subtracting too much. So negative 73. Again, my math party people, this is all about routinizing what you're doing because we've done all these previous videos. So I'm not going to take it seriously, literally step by step by step. I'm going to show you that you can become faster and faster just as long as we're making sure that we know the right way to do it to begin with. So let's go ahead and take a look at another one here. Let's take a look at something like this. So if you take a look at this, my party people, to be honest, look at how we have H minus H. Do you need to plug in the H here? You don't. You really, really, really don't. Because H minus H is going to cancel out. And so you're just left with J minus J over three. That's it. So if you plug in the J, what we end up having is three. So this becomes three minus three over three. Three over three is one. Three minus one is two. And there's your answer, C. So you can save yourself time if you notice any cancellations, any simplifications when it comes to algebraic expressions. Let's take a look at number 51 here. We have another set of even more complicatedness. Look at all this ridiculousness. So we have MP plus P plus P minus M, all that inside of that parentheses. So here, if you want to just plug in all your values, you could. Um, if you wanted to distribute the negative, you'll see that there's a cancellation to make it slightly easier. Because if you notice over here, if you distribute that negative, you end up getting P minus MP minus P minus P minus M. And you might notice that P minus P cancels out. So you have negative MP minus P minus M. So from there, we see that we have M times P. M and P, negative two times negative six is positive 12. So we have negative positive 12. Then we have minus P. So if we subtract P, which is negative six, you have minus negative six. And then from there, my math party people, we end up seeing that we have minus M. M is negative two, so minus negative two. Notice that I'm being very careful with those double negatives. Plug those negatives in the right way. And so here, what we have going on, we have negative 12 plus six plus two. And from there, that's negative six plus two, negative four, and you are done. So with that seven math party people, check it out. What ended up going wrong? Well, when we check everything out, notice that over here, the mistake was made, minus M. When we distributed the negative, we have a negative times a negative, and that should have been a positive. So we should have been adding M here. And again, I'm not perfect. And so if I do make a mistake like this, I do want to still keep it in the video because I want to show you that you can find mistakes, correct them, and still move forward the right way. Boom, right there. We're adding negative two. And so this should be minus two right there, minus two over here. And so notice that we can catch a small mistake and then we have negative six minus two and that gives us negative eight instead. And that's C.
So again, can you control and stop mistakes every single time? No. But can you correct them and understand why you made them? Absolutely. As long as you go through and understand that, hey, if you rushed it, take it a little slower until you're ready to speed it right back up. Let's go ahead and take another one here. It'll be our last example. And we are set. Here's another one here. One thing I noticed automatically in my math party people is we have minus H plus H. I don't have to plug those numbers in there. Cancel that out right away. Cancel that out right away, giving you H plus seven plus H times J. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. Now plug your numbers in. We know that H is gonna be negative six. So we have ourselves negative six plus seven plus negative six times J, J being negative seven. Okay, great. Now from here, we take care of business. Negative six plus seven, and then ne negative six times negative seven, positive 42. This over here becomes positive one, and the answer becomes 43. Booyah, and you're good. So at the end of the day, my math party people, multi steps, three steps, four steps, five steps, seven steps, 25 steps, it's really just about making sure that you know the correct order. And if you can do anything to simplify the process before you continue, go ahead and do it. You'll give yourself a much easier time. And so with that seven math party people, again, I'm your math coach Anderson. Let's keep moving forward the right way. If you're in the course, get into those worksheets, get into those speed drills, keep practicing and keep feeling that confidence rise as you keep going through. I'll see you in the next video. Let's keep getting smarter. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.